for sure. And you've made yourself, I mean, you, you've done this. You've, you've gone purely for rich fellows who've given you the, the five-star treatment, basically. Yes. Uh, if you fell, I mean, if you really fell for somebody who had got nothing at all, chap who didn't work, was on the dole, didn't have a car, how do you, how do you cope with it? Well, as I said, it um, doesn't last. It doesn't last if it happens, and um, I've been lucky enough that it hasn't happened that often. Yeah. Right, and, so you don't, and you certainly wouldn't go looking for no, definitely someone, not. someone like that. Definitely okay. not. Are you selfish? Yes. Are you, like, are you greedy? Yes. Yeah, do you admit <laughs> yes. it? Yes, I suppose if you ask that question to like nine, ten people, nine out of ten will be honest and tell you that they are greedy and selfish. Do you think this quest for money and lots of it and this champagne five-star lifestyle is going to make you happy? Yes. <laughs> Do you? Well, yeah. we'll see. I'd like to meet my next guest. He suffered because of uh, people like Lola, he says. His wife was a gold digger too. She took him for everything he had. Let's find out how as we say hello to Andy. <laughs> uh, what do you make of what you've just heard? Disgusting. Why? Selfish. Mm -hmm. Absolutely selfish. She's got no respect for, for us men. I mean, she's got no feelings for the men that, that she hammers. You've just got no feeling for them. You shouldn't even be allowed on the street. I'm telling you, you just shouldn't even be allowed. Well, I mean, I'm providing them an emotional sort of pleasure. They're providing for my financial pleasure. It's, a, um, it's... And what do you leave them with? What do you leave them with at the end of the day? Have they got any money left? I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, because I was left with no money. How, just explain what happened. Yeah. Uh, well, basically, I started a, a company off several years ago. And um, because I was, I was working so hard for such long hours, um, I broke up my wife. And, you broke um, up with your wife? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And basically, when I started getting busy and busy, because I wasn't, wasn't with the wife, I was, you know, I was working more and I was earning more money. And she heard I was you know, making more money and decided to get in touch and got back together. And the pressures really got to me. I mean, I was earning so much money, it was just unreal. And she said, well, you know, why don't you take it easy at home, love, you know? You relax for a bit, I'll run the company, which, you know, brilliant, sounded great. But what I didn't know, while she was in my office, she'd opened up another limited company, informed all my clients that she was now taking over the show, um, you know, to pay into her bank account. She went to my bank account, took everything out. Um, and, of, of course, I found out, and obviously I made a bit of a scene in the family home and 999 the police, and she even got me out of my home. And that was it, I was left with absolutely mm. nothing. We should, we should make it plain that we, we, we have no evidence at all that she's done anything improper, but you feel cheated, you feel, oh, you feel I, let down. I've been, uh, yeah, completely. You feel, I've... certainly feel betrayed. Right? Oh, very, but, very betrayed. Yeah, OK. Uh, I think it's more than a touch ironic that you should, or you should explain, in fact, what you do for a living. <laughs> I'm actually a private investigator. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you didn't obviously spot this. No. no. Uh, um, I understand your bitterness. Um, do you miss the money? Is it, I, where, is your, where is your contempt based, really? Is it based on the fact that you were betrayed by your partner? Or is it based on the fact that you actually missed out on a lot of dosh? Uh, where, is your, where is your contempt based, really? Is it based on the fact that you were betrayed by your partner? Or is it based on the fact that you actually missed out on a lot of dosh? Uh, I do miss the money slightly. I mean, money didn't make me happy. I w I've always been like, a happy, smiling chappy anyway. Uh, but it's more the contempt that she ended up with it rather than me. And I, it's me who worked for it 17 hours a day for five years solid. So you resent it, you jealous? I really do, yeah. Will, will um, audience, let's get, get, get you involved, but let's kick off with Glenn here. Will, will Lola find happiness in this in this uh, circle? She's been very honest about this, and it may be uh, the best way for her to proceed, but I'm sure she'd be a lot happier if she could make some money through her own accomplishments rather than being dependent upon men. Mm -hmm. So we don't think that it's a naturally nece necessarily a wise course. No, it, it is a time-honoured procedure, I suppose, for women to sell their youth and beauty uh, to men who have acquired wealth. It's a well-known trade-off, so it's by no means uncommon, and she at least is honest enough to admit it. But uh, it puts her in a very insecure position if uh, the men that she's going to become attached to are likely to just uh, cut her off and run off with somebody else later on. You see, Glenn used a very interesting word there, didn't he, uh, Lola? He used the word sell. Which has all sorts of implications and ramifications, doesn't it? I mean, mm. Do you ever think that's what you're doing? No, there is a lot, very big difference. It's companionship. I'm sure that's the pro proper word for it. What do you make of what she's doing? I totally disagree with the whole 
system that what she's going about, in my opinion, she's just classing herself as a high-class high prostitute, really. It's as bad as that? Yes. You, yeah. No, there is a difference. You see, um, you don't necessarily go out there looking for rich men, but if someone approaches you and they like you and you've had a few drinks and they like your company, you're laughing together, before you know they're rich and they've offered you, do you want to go to Paris or do you want you know, come on holiday or want a diamond ring, would you say no? Would I mean, what no? would be the use of Save saying no? Yes. The other foot. Would yeah. you say if no? they're enjoying yeah. the fact that they to, to scorn women and, and, and reprimand women I mean, if I this. was to go abroad with someone else, I'd pay my own way, not... or halfway, but would you But know? if you was, like, really liked someone and they couldn't afford to pay for their own trip, would do you, you offer to pay for it? What, do, you, do you think she's or selfish? Or, or, yeah, or I think she's very selfish. What about if the bloke was really nice to you, bought you a few drinks, but you had no money? You'd dump him. Men don't mind gold diggers. They just, as long as they do it with a certain style, as long as they sort of... Um, if they're really nice people and not just, like, after their money, but enjoy their company. I mean, there is this assumption that men um, gold dig that gold diggers go for are old and ugly and just rich. It's not true. There's some really charming guys out there, and it just happens they've got money. Just about a